How does cervical mucus change during pregnancy after ovulation? Hello everyone. In today's video, we will be discussing a fascinating topic. How does cervical mucus change during pregnancy after ovulation? This is a topic of great interest, especially for those trying to conceive or tracking their menstrual cycles. Understanding these changes can provide valuable insights into the hormonal fluctuations happening in your body. What is cervical mucus? Before diving into the changes during pregnancy, it's important to understand what cervical mucus is. Cervical mucus, also known as cervical fluid, is a type of vaginal discharge produced by glands in the cervix. This mucus plays a vital role in conception as it helps to nourish and transport sperm to meet the egg for fertilization. How does cervical mucus change after ovulation? Right after ovulation, if conception does not occur, your cervical mucus begins to change under the influence of fluctuating hormones. It often becomes less abundant and thicker in consistency, resembling a sticky or pasty texture. This type of mucus isn't as conducive to sperm movement. Now, let's delve into how this changes if pregnancy occurs. How does cervical mucus change in early pregnancy? In the early stages of pregnancy, hormonal changes start to take effect, notably the increase in progesterone and human chorionic gonadotropin, HCG. One noticeable change is the increase in the amount of cervical mucus. This mucus, under the influence of pregnancy hormones, often appears more creamy or lotion-like in consistency. What is the purpose of this change? The primary purpose of this change is to protect the developing embryo. This increased, thicker mucus forms what's known as a mucus plug or cervical plug, effectively sealing the cervix to prevent the entry of bacteria into the uterus, safeguarding the embryo. Thank you for watching our discussion on cervical mucus changes during pregnancy after ovulation. Remember, each person is unique, and while these are common trends, individual experiences may vary. Always consult with a healthcare professional if you have concerns about your health. We hope this video has been informative and helpful for you. Stay healthy, and we'll see you in the next video.